Welcome to the Shark and Ray Touch Tank at the New England Aquarium. I'm Dr. Kathy Tuxbury, one of the veterinarians at the aquarium. To provide a snapshot of my work, I thought you could join us for a special procedure. Today, we are performing exams and collecting blood samples from a few of our cow nose rays. Our goal is to take a closer look at a few individuals who have not been growing as fast as the other stingrays, and an analysis of their blood should give us some clues as to why. First, Interactive Exhibits Aquarius Audrey and Jason work together with gnats to catch the rays one at a time. Once secured, Interactive Exhibits Supervisor Sarah scans the ray for her pit tag to determine if the correct ray has been found. Every shark and ray in the touch tank has a small microchip or pit tag placed under their skin with a unique ID number, similar to the microchip tags placed in dogs and cats. This tag enables us to keep track of individual animals for accurate monitoring of their health and well-being. It turns out that this ray is not the one we are looking for, so we continue our search. After another count as ray has been secured, biologist Christine checks the ray's wing for her pit tag or microchip number, and she's able to confirm that we have found the ray due for an exam. To initiate the exam, the ray is placed on her back in a type of hold called tonic immobility, or TI. This causes the ray to become very calm and immobile, allowing for safe handling for both the ray and the staff. Then the ray is placed on a padded exam table and a breathing tube attached to a water pump is placed in her mouth. A constant flow of water over the ray's gills allows her to breathe normally while out of the water for the exam and blood collection. Her skin is kept wet throughout the procedure as well to prevent it from drying out. Next, you can see me collect a blood sample from the ray. There are a few different areas where we draw blood from stingrays. This site is called the mesopterygial vein. After a clean draw, the blood is then placed in various tubes and labeled with this individual's ID number. You might recognize this process if you have ever donated blood or had blood drawn by your doctor. Following the exam, the raised blood will be analyzed for a variety of health parameters in the Aquarium Medical Center. Here, a second count as Ray has been caught, scanned for her pit tag number, and we've confirmed that she too is due for an exam. She is placed in tonic immobility, just like the first Ray, and then her breathing tube is placed in her mouth. In addition to the blood collection, all of the Rays receive a complete physical exam, including an eye exam, skin exam, and a check for any lumps or bumps for a complete assessment of their overall health. For this individual ray, I am drawing blood from one of her wing veins. While veterinary student extern Sam is recording exam notes, rays have many small wing veins that run along both wings and these veins are another location where we can collect a blood sample. After the blood draw, the ray is weighed prior to returning to the tank. Similar to humans, checking the animal's weights on a routine basis is a very important health monitoring tool as unexpected weight changes can indicate the need for follow-up. After their exams, all rays are observed swimming in an enclosed area of the tank to make sure they're doing well. Once we confirm that they have recovered fully, they're released back to the main tank. Everyone is doing A-OK. -okay. Thank you for listening, and we hope you enjoyed learning about stingray exams and blood collection. While this is just one piece of the work that I do, it's a great example of a day in the life of a New England Aquarium veterinarian.